Definitely a good looking bow. Never seen this on a yacht before. Really interesting design. It's very segmented. And this area is so bright because we've got, look at that. That's the cockpit. What's up guys? Today I've got another very unique cruiser for y'all. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this one. She's a 1984 Trintella Center Cockpit Catch. She's a solidly built live aboard cruiser at just under 49 feet. As always, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and you're enjoying these videos. It really helps us a lot, so thank you in advance. And without further ado, let's get to the tour. All right, guys, I just stepped aboard and this is a big center cockpit catch here. We've got the aft deck back there, the center cockpit here. And then we're gonna go forward first as with all of these tours. Let's go ahead and go forward. So first thing I notice, good hand holds going forward. I believe these decks have been recently redone and repainted, so they look pretty good. This is an interesting rig for sure. Look at that boom vang with the, with the wheel right there for tightening it. It's very interesting. Looks like a big single spreader main mast. And then looking at the way this mast step is done, I'm wondering if that's tabernacled so the mast can actually come down. I'm curious about that. I'm gonna get some more information on that because that's definitely an interesting looking mast step design right there. You've got your granny bars right there for doing work at the mast. Big old dinghy on the foredeck right here, so I can't really look at the foredeck right now. It's kind of hard to do that, but it is what it is. This is a very large dinghy. So it's definitely a very large foredeck because it can hold a large dinghy like this. going forward huge horizontal windlass right here with a double bow roller and an anchor and just look at that chain that chain is almost as big as my finger right there so really nice this looks like it's new as well roller frilling head sail stainless double bow roller right here on the bow I'm gonna go ahead and look aft from here Definitely a good looking bow and looks like she was built to sail far distances. Going aft, again, just looking at this whole rig right here, just, there's a lot going on and you don't normally see these, these supports on the mast step, so it does look like it could potentially be tabernacled. So we've got kind of a half hard dodger right here like you'd see on a Halber Grassi. We've got the glass windshield with the canvas upper portion of the Dodger so that's pretty cool got a Doyle stack pack on the mainsail this is an interesting style opening port for ventilation very cool taking another look at the foredeck there's a lot going on it's a big boat going aft So there's the the Dodger with the the windshield, and then it looks like you know there's another bimini as well that would give you even more protection from the elements. And this cockpit is is huge, very very interesting cockpit. We're gonna go back to this in a little bit, but it's got a feature that I've never seen before in a sailboat. So I'm excited to show you guys. And now we're on the aft deck here. So this is a center cockpit catch. This is the the mizzen mast back here we've got another Doyle stack pack looking up the mizzen mast there is a radar on that mizzen mast and then the mizzen sheet is back there big opening hatch that goes down below into the aft cabin lots of room for activities back here but there is you know there is a lot of rigging as well that goes into these catches you guys know I like center cockpits so I like having all this space back here, even if it is, you know, kind of taken up a little bit by the mizzen. I'll tell you what though, when you're sailing, you gotta be careful of this mizzen boom because that's right at the right level to hit you. Off the stern, there is a swim platform down there. So that's kind of cool. And then a ladder. We're quite high off the water right now, so it's nice to have that platform down there that's at the water level. Looking forward. This is just a lot of boat. And then looking at the cockpit, we've got four winches right here at the deck level. 
more on the masts obviously the main sheet right here and we've now come to this cockpit this is a very unique cockpit it reminds me a little bit of an ml because of the off-center helm station right there that's covered by the dodger but something that is really different than the ml and i'm not 100 percent sure if this was standard on this boat but look what's going on right here i'm i'm standing on the cockpit sole here and it is you know perspex plexiglass whatever you want to call it it's basically thick plastic and you can see all the way down into the galley which is like I said I've never seen this on a yacht before it's very that's very unique and whether you like that or not is definitely up to you I think it's definitely cool but it's also you know a big place that could potentially leak which you know you can see that it's been taped so I just went ahead and removed all the canvas on the helm station right here and as you guys can see the helm station is is really protected so very good in you know whatever weather you're experiencing very reminiscent of an ML especially with the you know the catch rig and the cockpit style it looks like that's gonna be your helm seat right there it's a little off center I'm sure you can figure something else out that's a little more comfortable but yeah pretty nice I like the helm station you've got everything you need to sail the boat right here you've got your instruments your nav pod bow thruster all your gauges up here controls really nice you've got a cockpit table right here that folds open and then a couple cockpit lockers they're being fully utilized but good amount of storage in this cockpit tell you what they're heavy I like it I like the cockpit it's super unique in that there is a plexiglass floor in the cockpit <laughs> let's go ahead and see what else this boat has in store for us let's go down below all right guys so I just got down below and I'm in the main salon this is kind of a deck salon setup you've got our main settee here pretty good size not huge for the size of boat but as you guys can see this is a really unique layout so the way this designed we've got a, a main salon with a nav station down here we've got good views out these port lights there's our nav station forward facing nav station got some storage right here that's the companionway we just came down so you know to starboard when you immediately come down you've got your navigation kind of area and then the port your lounge the headliner is pretty cool and then right here above the salon table there's like a stained glass feature right there yeah so that's definitely kind of interesting and unique it's not a, a hatch I just checked just like a stained glass light so we're gonna go ahead and go forward first and what I wanted to mention before we do that is notice how we didn't walk down into a galley most boats like this you walk down in the galleys immediately to your port or to your starboard the galley is actually in there and there's a separate Eden area in the galley so that's really cool but we're gonna go forward first see what the forward section of this boat has to offer and then we'll come back so we've got the compression post for the main mast right here and then directly to port there is a cabin with two single berths so crew cabin, good kids cabin, and then a hanging locker for clothes, storage up there, and storage down below. Continuing forward is the, the V-berth. So again, this is really interesting design. It's very segmented. So, you know, we've got kind of a, a work area up here in the forward section of the boat. This looks like it's being used as somewhat of a garage. 
Um, got some tools. So just kind of a utility table, a work table for working on things while you're up here. Got steps that go up. Those will go out the deck hatch there. So you can escape if you need to. And then to starboard is a single berth up here. So, you know, this is kind of a, right now it looks like it's being used as a storage slash workroom. But yeah, lots of storage down below the berth as well. So yeah, that's what this kind of is up here. Storage workroom with an extra berth, just a multi-purpose space on this boat. Then we've got the forward head right here. And this is a wet head. So shower pulls out of the sink there. It works. And looking aft. So we had berths for three up there in the forward section of the boat. Two separate cabins, berths for three. And then going aft, we're back here in the deck salon here. We're gonna go back aft. There's the main companionway. And we came down a little while ago. And then now we're going down into the galley and eat in area. So an eat in galley. And this area is so bright because we've got, look at that. That's the cockpit right there. So that's the clear cockpit sole. So that's just, it's so unique when you think about it because you can be down here eating your food or cooking some food and someone can be up there and look at that, that's the helm station. You can see what they're doing. It's so very, very interesting. This is an access panel for equipment because this is right below the helm station. So got your breakers in there. And just more gauges and picture and energy battery monitors and then just another area to lounge and to, to sit and to eat and this area is super bright because of that huge skylight and then we've got our galley lots of cold storage right there gimbaled stove microwave big sink plenty enough storage the current owner was planning on living aboard. Unfortunately, things didn't work out and now he's selling. But this would be a very interesting live aboard. Definitely has enough space. There's a lot of quirks to it too. And then we're back here in the aft cabin. And again, just an interesting layout back here. You've got a big settee and then a Pullman style berth in the aft section of the boat with storage all around, windows all around. So lots of natural light, a big, what looks like an almost queen size bed back here, kind of a vanity, I guess, back here as well. And then a non-sweet head. It's very like 80s style, but it's big. And it's got, there's a big tub and shower right there. So that's, that's again, pretty unique for a sailboat like this. So you got a big separate shower in the head. So as you can see, it's livable. Got lots of space. Now let's take a look at the engine room gonna be down there all right guys so those are two massively heavy doors right there that open up the engine room down below big old Perkins diesel and then smaller generator right there for power so decent engine access definitely could be better but that's 
that's what's on this boat. All right, guys, it's time for the full continuous blow decks walkthrough from bow to stern. So, what do y'all think? Let me know down in the comments below. Unfortunately, this particular vessel is now off the market, but I'll still link the usual information and asking price. I still hope you enjoyed the tour, and I do think that this is a solid liveaboard cruiser, as long as you're handy and not afraid to do a little bit of work. Because, cosmetically, she did need a bit of that on the interior. So that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Five years ago, we posted our first yacht tour. Since then, I've been aboard hundreds of cruising boats, both on and off camera. I've also been sailing for about 15 years now, worked on three boats, lived and cruised on one, and have grown this YouTube channel to a full-time career over the course of the last seven years. Randy has also been an integral part of all of that, but as I'm sure you've noticed, she's stepped away from the channel for the most part to take the lead in raising the kids, which I have to say is a crucial role and no easy task. She's an absolute rock star. One of the biggest requests I 
frequently get is for help in your cruising yacht search. And I completely understand why. The yacht market is full of brokers that are supposed to be seen as quote experts. However, while some may be, oftentimes that's not the case. This is compounded by the fact that by definition, because they make commission on the sale, a broker is biased towards selling you a boat, but not towards selling you the right boat for you. You cannot rely on them to have your best interests at heart. This is actually why I've turned down countless brokers that have offered me jobs over the years. I don't make money on the sale of any boats that I tour and I want to keep it that way to avoid bias to protect you, the audience. So hopefully as a solution to this problem, I've launched what I'm calling Not A Broker Consulting. This is a new Patreon page where you can sign up to get help from me specifically at varying levels during your cruising yacht search. You might have noticed that boats come in all shapes and sizes and cruising plans, budgets, families, personal needs, etc., are all different. My goal will be to help to find a boat that fits your customized situation the best that I can. If you sign up, you'll also get early access to ad-free versions of our yacht tours, which is an opportunity to see what I'm posting before it goes live to the masses. Certain tiers will also get super early leads on yachts that I think are great deals even before I've filmed or edited a video for them. I think this could really help those of you looking for a cruising yacht and just need some guidance. And as always, if you just wanna support what we do, there's a tier for that as well. Anyway, a link to the new page is in the description and should have popped up on screen as well. So thank you in advance. Much love. See you in the next one.